All right, you guys, so this is 4.4, uh, the Fundamental Theorem of Calculus, number three. So this is more of just kind of a practice and check how you're understanding um, evaluating definite integrals and getting some setup. So this is more of you try it and then check back. All right, so this first example, I want you to evaluate the integral from pi over 4 to pi over 2 of 2 minus cosecant squared of x. All right, um, we will talk about the calculator aspect in class. Okay, so don't worry about that aspect. So this is a good time to remind yourselves about the integrals of our trig functions and also to reacquaint yourself with that unit circle. So go ahead, give it a try, and then we'll come back and check. Okay, so did you get pi over 2 minus 1 as your final answer? Well, let's see how we did. So integrating 2, we get 2x. Integrating cosecant squared, it's negative cotangent, all right? So this just cleans up to 2x plus cotangent, and now we are integrating it, or we're evaluating it on our interval from pi over 4 to pi over 2. And so now we just plug in um, pi over 2, and we subtract when we plug in pi over 4, all right? Reminding yourself that the cotangent of pi over 2 is 0, and the cotangent of pi over 4 is 1. So now cleaning everything up, you get pi over 2 minus 1. If you have questions on any of the algebra, let me know. Example 2 now says find the area of the region bounded by y equals 1 plus the cube root of x. When x equals 0, x equals 8, and y equals 0. So the first thing I want you to do is try to graph this region and shade the region in which you are trying to find the area for. So go ahead, give it a shot, and let's check back. Okay, so hopefully you were able to graph. This is our equation, or our graph of 1 plus the cube root of x. Okay, there's in blue. We're going from x equals 0 to x equals 8, and we're bounded when y equals 0. So this is the region in which we're bounded. So now what I want you to do is I want you to come up with the integral that represents this area. All right? So go ahead, give it a try, and we'll check back. Okay. So here we're looking. Our x values go from 0 to 8. So those are our um, integral limits there, from 0 to 8. Okay? That's our interval. And we're trying to find the area underneath this curve, 1 plus the cube root of x, and then we have dx. So hopefully you were able to set up that integral correctly. And now I want you to actually integrate it. So go through, follow the process, come back, let's check our answers. All right, did you get 20? Hopefully we did. Integrating 1, we get x. Integrating the cube root of x, we get 3 fourths x to the 4 thirds. And now we're evaluating this from 0 to 8. So when we plug everything in, double check the algebra here, all right? And cleaning everything up, you should get 20, all right? Um, like I said, we'll go through some of the calculator aspects in class, all right? But if you do have any questions on this, certainly let me know. Have a good night.